Well, folks, a bit of perfect timing today. I haven't exactly been feeling too well. But, my alternate order came in, and two days early at that. And I found the little sound bite machine. So, that's good, too. Well, it used to be a thing for people to get comics when they weren't feeling too well. It was a quick pick-me-up, so let's see what I got here. Set the camera down a minute. No, doing a video. It's almost sad when the multi-tool I've been keeping on me for some time has a better bit to it than scissors kept nice and safe in a drawer. But that's some good tape they're using, so I'm still... Well, you can say this for Alterna, they use a very good brand of tape. This package is secure. I was hoping to just cut it so I could use the pack to... Okay, I'm using a tear strip. Hoping to be able to use the box to store the comics in temporarily when this is done, but that is some high quality tape they are using. This package is solid. Okay. This is my first order with them. It is the random grab bag offer they have on their Etsy store. Ten semi-random comics inside a tote bag. $7.50 plus shipping. Feels like a reasonably nice tote bag. I can probably get some use out of it if I go to Bell County Comic Con next year. That's still several months off and so my plans don't quite go that far yet let's see alterna logo alterna comics are for everyone and now let's reach in see what i've got Okay, first off, props to Alterna. They aren't just relying on the tote bag to take care of everything. They have an actual plastic bag. think this is one of those new this is one of those new well if it was one of the new resealable jobs it just tore on me yeah this is I think supposed to have been one of those new resealable bags but it kind of tore on me okay Alterna Comics, newsprint is back. I think this is a little sticker. You can advertise in our comics. Prices as low as $25. Demographic info, distribution. Circulation on most single-issue print titles is between 5000 and 9000 
quarter page ad is $25. File format and creation service multi ad discount. So they're upfront about that. Thank you. We hope you enjoy our comics and that you'll let others know about them as well. If you take a picture or make a video and share it with us on any of our social media accounts, we'll send you a coupon code to save 20% on your next order at the Etsy store. I might just take advantage of that. The Mighty Mascots coming spring 2019. Three, these mascots are saving more than just breakfast. So, former breakfast cereal mascots turned superheroes. That might be interesting. Make sure I don't lose any of this. Alrighty. Yeah. Here is what we have. Okay. They set it all up so that the covers are facing each other. Try and protect the fronts. So, one, two. It would help if I took my finger off the lens. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. The chair, number 204, autograph. That's a real autograph. That is an actual silver pen. Can't tell if it's a silver permanent marker or if it's a silver model paint pen. But yeah, see, that's actual strokes. One of the ten they promised was a signed issue, and we've got it. So, yeah. The chair, number two. And, let's see, direct sales, horror, rated M for mature. Yeah, just in time for Halloween, then. Alrighty. Sonatus, three of three, another M for mature, supernatural whore, nice Halloween, okay, Wicked Righteous, six of six, M for mature, post-apocalyptic action, um, Angel Wings with Saw Blades. Yeah, that's kind of post-apocalyptic. Alrighty. Scrimshaw. Cyborgs, Pirates, Cutthroats, and Mercs. Number th six. Rated in for mature post-apocalyptic action. Alrighty. What other goodies do we have? Croak, number three, M for Mature, Whore, Don't Turn Back. Okay, uh, look at that. It's mostly dark, but there's just enough to where it actually kind of fits. I like that cover. Adam Wreck, number three of three. Rated E for everyone, sci-fi adventure. Okay, I might actually just flip this open since it's E for everyone. Okay, now look. Comichouse.com indies. Sell your comic books for free. And that's a nice listing. Number three of three, 2017. This is a bad idea. Yeah. One person, that, versus that. Something tells me a series of bad decisions have led up to that. Ok, 
coloring is minimalistic, but they make it work. Okay, yeah, I have a peppermint disc in my mouth. My voice is going otherwise. Very clearly, this was somebody's very brave at effort, probably an amateur tutor and a fool. Okay, that's some good news advertising that. Okay. This is actually pretty nice entry-level artwork. Okay, the 12, number one, Beware the Dead Roads. Okay, actually, let's flip back to this one a second. Okay, this panel here, monochromatic, but see the shading? It, it really works. There's a lot that can be done with monochromatics. Some people may recall a mystery series from the 80s called Miss Tree. I've got a couple issues of that. That was also monochromatic, black, white, and shades of one color. Issues I have are either red, blue, or kind of a beige slash sepia. They did pretty good with that. And it's nice to see somebody trying it again. Okay, the 13, number one, Beware the Dead Roads. Okay, issue number one in a two-parter metaphase, A New Hero is Here, rated E for everyone. Okay, I'm going to flip this one open just to take a peek at it. Let's see, My My Tenshi Life, Divinely Magic girl manga. Have to look that up later. Ollie, a boy with a Down syndrome, wants to have powers like his superhero dad. His unique genetic makeup holds the key for something great. Will he get his wish? Okay. That's... It's minimalistic artwork, but it's still very much conveys everything. And this is nice. This is better than a lot of other recent books I've seen. Who is the artist on this one? Kelly Williams should be very proud of themselves. I'll say that right now. Amazing Age. Another All Ages superhero. Okay, worlds collide. This is actually pretty dynamic. This is 70s, 80s, Silver Age level. Starts off right in the middle of a pretty basic sci-fi tale, which is actually a story a kid is making. And so I'll have to sit down and read this later, but just randomly thumbing through. And this is actually pretty good artwork. I'm kind of wanting a trade now. Who did the art on this? Jeremy Massey with colors by Christine Brunson. Yeah, that's good work. And 
Lilith the Dark, one of four. Charles C. Dowd is the only credited. Fantastic first issue. Let's see how fantastic this is. Okay, yeah. This is some nice artwork, too. Although... Yeah, that might not be E for everyone after all. Okay, it's in a little girl's imagination. Still, though, this is some very nice artwork, actually. I'm very impressed. And yeah, actual ads. This has the makings of something special. I might just track down the other issues once I give this a read. So yeah. That bundle was a little over 10 bucks when I factor in local shipping to my area. I'd say that was pretty this is a pretty good bundle all things considered so if you're looking to get into alterna as well you may want to try and go ahead have this be your first point of entry i will if i can remember to do so include the link as part of my description on the video but yeah, this one's a winner. Alrighty, catch y'all later.